Big toe pain is fairly common since the feet are constantly exposed to stress, to overuse, and to injury from walking and running and from other activities such as working and from sports. Arthritis. When the big toe has pain and limited movement, it is often associated with arthritis of the big toe. Degenerative arthritis of the big toe is usually painful and is associated with stiffness and the swelling of the first metatarsophalangeal joint. Patient may need fusion of that joint. Hallux rigidus is arthritis of the big toe joint, but it is not that bad. The arthritis may be present with large dorsal bone spur and it's called hallux rigidus. This condition is associated with a swelling and restriction of the dorsiflexion of the big toe. There will be some cartilage remaining within the joint space. There will be also bone sparing around the joint dorsally. This condition is treated by an insert first, and if it doesn't work, the patient will have an operation, it's called dorsal chelectomy. We remove 25% of the dorsal aspect of the metatarsal head, including the dorsal osteophytes. The procedure is contraindicated if the pain is located in the mid-range of joint motion. That means there is an advanced arthritis. It means the patient will need fusion of that joint not just excision of the spares and part of the diseased tissue. Hallux valgus, called bunion deformity. Deformity is characterized by lateral deviation of the big toe with enlargement of the tissue around the metatarsophalangeal joint. Bunions can be painful and the pain may be aggravated by shoe wear. The condition is more common in women than in men. Once a bunion gets to be painful and the shoe wear is uncomfortable, surgery may be needed. Gout. The first tarsometatarsal joint is the most common joint in the body to be affected by gout. Recurrent pain in the big toe can occur from gout. Gout is caused by buildup of uric acid crystals that look like needles, and also these crystals are negatively charged. These gout crystals are usually deposited inside the joint, and the first metatarsophalangeal joint is a favorite for these crystals to be deposited. Gout may resemble infection. Sometimes there is a white tophas or cloudy aspiration if somebody attempt aspiration of that joint. Aspiration and analysis of the joint fluid is the best method for diagnosis. X-rays will show punched out periarticular erosions. Most people with high level of uric acid do not have a gouty attack. Turf toe. Turf toe is the common term used to describe an injury to the plantar plate and the sesamoid complex of the MTP of the big toe. It is an injury to the joint at the base of the big toe caused by hyperextension of the big toe. It occurs in contact sports. Turf toe injury gets its origin or its name from playing fields covered with artificial turf. Since it is a harder surface than grass with little give when the force is placed on it. X-ray may show fracture or displacement of the sesamoid MRI may show disruption of the plantar plate. Sesamoiditis. There are two sesamoid bones, a tibial sesamoid and fibular sesamoid. The sesamoid bones 
act like pulleys for the flexor tendons and are embedded into the tendons of the flexor hallucis brevis muscle. Sesamoiditis is generalized big toe pain at the bottom of the big toe. Sesamoids are important to the big toe region by absorbing weight-bearing pressure and reducing friction on the metatarsal head. They protect the flexor hallucis longus tendon as it glides between the two sesamoid bones. Any chronic sesamoid condition that is unresponsive to conservative treatment may require surgery.